how to create Payoneer account in Ghana, just go to Google and then type in Payoneer and then hit enter. Okay, so it will come here and then select the official site of Payoneer. So it will take you to the website. When you look at the top right corner, you will see we have register. Just click on the register. Okay, so when you click on the register, it will take you right here. We have a lot of options that you can select from okay you can choose either a freelancer or a small business for online seller affiliate marketer for renter host and then individual so let's select the individual okay when you select the individual to bring you right here get the full power of pioneer so just click on it when you click on it over here as you can see you can just click on the register and then it will bring you right here for the first thing getting you started you have to select either it is for individual or a company okay so if it's for a company then you select it then what you are going to do is to put in the legal company name over here what the company is doing and then the registered legal entity of your business the company website if you have some then the authorized representative if it is you just put your name here then your last name, then your email address, then you re-enter an email, then you put in your date of birth. Then all I have to do is just check the box that you're not a robot, then you click on the next. Let's say you are opening it for yourself, an individual, then you select the individual, okay? When you select the individual, what you have to do is to just put in your first name over here, then the last name, then the email address, then you re-enter the email address, you select your date of birth, then you check the box that you are not a robot, then you click on the next, okay? Then it will bring you to the contact details. Over here, you are going to put in, you are going to select your country, which is Ghana, okay? So just select the country Ghana. It is actually where you are living in right now, okay? Then you put in the street number. Don't use post office box okay if you have additional information to you can put it here then you select the city or the town just put it there then you use a postal code mostly in Ghana we use 00233 then you put in your telephone number right here just put in the correct one because they are going to send you a verification code okay so the next thing is to just click on the send code okay so when you click on the send code they are going to send you a verification number that you are going to put it right here. They are putting in the verification number. What you have to do is to just click on the next. Okay. After clicking on the next, then it will take you to the security details. Over here, you are just going to set a password. Okay. Just put in a strong password. Combination of letters and numbers. Then you re-enter the password here. Then you put in a security question that if you forget your password, they are going to ask you. Then you put in the answer so that they will know that it's actually you. Okay, we have a lot that you can choose from. Then you put in the answer right here. Okay, so after putting in the answer, the next thing I have to do is to put in the ID card type. Okay, it being national ID, driving license or passport. Just select it and then put the number right here. After that, you have to select the date of it on the ID card. Select the correct one, okay? They are going to verify it, okay? After selecting the date of it, then all I have to do is to simply come down here and then click on the next, okay? It is going to take you to the last part. Here, you are going to put in your local bank details over here, okay? So that you can transfer your money from your pioneer into your bank account. So just select the country, which is Ghana. Then you select the currency, which I prefer you select in dollars, okay? Use the USD, okay? Then you put in the name of the bank over here. After that, then you put in the account holder's name over here. Then you put in the account number, okay? Then the next thing to do is to put in a swift code, okay? For the swift code, just go to Google and then type in the name of your bank, then add a swift code to it, then hit enter, okay? It is going to come. So this is the swift code for GCB, starting from the G to C, just copy it. After copying it, just come back and then paste it right here, okay? Just paste it. 
The next thing is to check the boss that you agree to their terms and conditions and then you agree to their pricing as well. Okay, just check the two boxes and then you are good to go. The next thing I have to do is to simply click on submit and your account will be created for you successfully. So thank you for watching this video. Just like it and then see you in my next video.